my friends! Hello my friends! Hello my friend Bayani here! In this video we're gonna show you how to do some uh, dry oil tape. We're just gonna do some flat uh, paper tape. By the end of it, this video you'll be able to just to do it by yourself. Yes, is this a recording? If you have any question about this the taping how to do it and if you have a comment please send it to us we'll be here to answer your question yeah we're just gonna put some tape here on the bevel flat tape all right like you guys can see the bevel is nice and straight so we're just gonna put some tapes on the bevel you can see the drywall here we call it a bevel we have a little indent this is to very much hide the tape once you load it the wall will be straight and the tape be right in like you guys can see you can see a little bit of space right there yeah so this side you see the region there this side would go to the wall inside the wall if we do in the inside corner we just this is just to just bend it like this easy to bend right? okay I'm gonna use a hook I'm gonna use the trowel yeah. and then we're gonna be use a knife this is a six inches knife and this is good to load to clean the tape it's good to use a four inch or five inches knife uh, the reason I'm gonna show you guys why and like you guys can see there the six inches a little bit wide I go above the the bevel and it's a little bit harder to squeeze the tape so with the four inches knife this is smaller so we have uh, more pressure per square inch so would be would clean better just leaving a little bit of mud behind the tape okay let's get the job done You see the consistency of the mud is a little bit harder because we want to leave a little bit mud behind and we don't want to make a lot of mess. So here I show you guys like this is not gonna not gonna drop and if you use a coincha knife this is a the mud is good this way. You guys can see I just gonna put some mud and then I just gonna For the tape you don't need to put a lot of mud, just enough to hold the tape on. So here I just go, I just make sure the corner is in there, nice and good. And then I'm just uh, gonna go on this side, just gonna load it good. Then I just with my finger, I just gonna find, I show you guys the gap of the drywall. So once I go there, I just gonna cut it. And then I just have this one in here. Like you see, I'm gonna show you guys, see, you guys can see it. Where it to put the tape right between the joint. So I just gonna find this part where you have the indent. Here I don't have it right to the corner because once I put the corner tape, this is gonna go overlap. So don't need to be specific right to the corner. Sometimes once you put right to the corner, when you clean it up, 
need to stretch a little bit. I'm gonna go over the corner with some good six. Here I just hold the tape like this way. And just right there. And then I, here I can feel, once I go, I can feel where is the dry out joint. And then I just gonna stretch some more. Just make sure it is tight on place. Gonna make sure this is uh, tight right there. And then I just put the knife, hold it firm, and just tear it. All right. And then I just uh, step away. I just keep going in this joint. Like you guys can see, I'm holding with one hand. Like this tape is tight, right? I'm pulling it tight and then I'm just gonna move in here. And I move the other hand this way. Like you see, I'm holding the reason that I'm holding here because I don't want the tape to move this way. So because if I just gonna pull it here, not hold it the other hand, the tape gonna move from the corner. So all the time I just let this hand go. I just move the other one. And then we rip the other corner. And just the same way. I'm just gonna cut it. And then we just start from this corner. Like you guys can see, I just put my finger right where the middle of the tape is. You guys can see the indent. And I just put it right there right on the bevel where is the gap for the dryer like I'm holding it in here because I want the tape to be really tight right? like there you go and then I go up to the corner we have the tape on like no, I just have two hands. So what I'm gonna do, in this case, I'm just gonna put a little bit pressure with the plate, and I'm gonna clean it, right? Yeah, I'm using the point and knife. Okay, the corner, I just, do this way, make sure it is clean, alright? If you have, you can run the knife the opposite way. Here I go, like, uh, here, like you guys can see, I'm gonna start very much from the center. I'm gonna, I'm hold the tape with the hook to make sure it's not gonna be moved, and then I go, I clean this way. I clean this way. Like you guys can see, the clean, I wipe this off with the four inches knife. Have no gap in there, but now you guys see when I put the six inches knife, you can see a little bit of a gap in there. Oh, this is uh, important to leave a little bit gap because when you're gonna load, when you're gonna load, you want to cover the tape. This way here I show you guys, like you guys can see. There is mud underneath the tape. Like this. this is good too. If you guys just have a six inch knife, it uh, be okay to use it too. what happened here let's say once this is dry it's gonna shrink so you're still gonna be able to to load it keep a little bit mud on the knife that way you get the tape a little bit wet and at the same time you keep the bevel you still the bevel so Just keep your knife like this position instead of go this way. You just put it a little bit on the flat. You 
go, right? And just wipe the sky clean. Like you guys can see, the 6 inch knife will be able to fill in the bevel more than the 4 inch knife. And uh, this is important because once uh, you're gonna load, you're gonna, gonna have a better finish and use a little bit less uh, finishing product. See, you try to clean the tape. Let's say. You try to clean the tape, just happen. Don't be too worried about it. All you guys have to be, move a little bit this way, and I'll show you. Look. I'm just gonna stretch out. You just gotta pull the tape, make sure it is tape is tight. Here's a, a, another joint in here. This is what we call it a butt joint. Is when uh, the two ends of the drywall meet. That is not the bevel. Yeah, this one has no indent. Like you guys can see, it's just uh, a flat joint. I just gonna put some mud to fill in it, and then I put the tape. Is a. Uh, in this case, we don't need a pre-fill because this mud is a... Uh, you see the consistency of the mud? is good and hard. And we're not gonna load it right away. Very much the same way as the bevel joint. We're just gonna find the set of the, the cut, like you guys can see. I'm just gonna put it in there. Tight enough. Cut it. Very much hold it there on the end of the hook. Go this way. Okay. okay guys, when you're doing this, it's important to leave uh, some mud underneath. So don't, go, don't press too hard. Just enough to remove uh, the mud. Once you clean it, make sure you run the knife uh, on the flat. That way automatically you leave some mud underneath the tape because it's important to leave mud. i show you guys, see? Again, you guys can see the mud in there. Don't leave too much, just uh, enough to hold the tape. If you have a big gap on the drywall before you tape, is a, it is a good idea just to do a preview. A preview, you can use some uh, concrete fill mix. You can use like go around with some uh, mud straight from the box and fill in the big gaps before you put the tape on. This would be a good gap to fill in with like a concrete fill and go around and fill in all this gap. We're still gonna do it. Just today you just, uh, once we finish here, we're gonna go and do all the preview before we tape it. And uh, thank you very much to watch this video. Yes, if you have any comment about the tape or how to do it or any question, please write on the comment. And we will answer you. We will answer your question. Thank you very much. See you next week. Thank you for your support. If you want to see a great content, please subscribe. And we have a video coming up on a regular basis. Thank you very much. See you soon.